guys. I think it's running. All right. Hello, hello. Hello there. I think it. I think we're live now. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. If there's anyone that can hear us or see us right now, hello there. Say something. Say hi or whatever. Okay. <laughs> I can see that we're hello, online now already, so that's cool. There's anyone that can hear us Hello, or see us right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome Say to something. our stream Say today. Like, or whatever. <laughs> I can see that we're online now. Yeah, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, welcome, everyone. Well, let us know if there's something wrong audio video wise. If, you, if there's something we didn't notice, let us know in the comments if there's anything we can improve but otherwise welcome to our live stream um the form rhythm in between this is part of the dutch design week 2020 and we have here si Wang with us and um i'm yentin lo so we're going to introduce ourselves a little bit and we're going to uh, let me probably briefly saying what this is about so i don't know if you all have checked the Dutch Design Week web page that we have here in the description. There's a link if you haven't checked that. Please take a look. So this year, because of the coronavirus situation, so everything is going virtual and online, and including the Dutch Design Week is is not happening anymore in the city of Eindhoven, the Netherlands. But instead, this year we have everything display online, and then each work we have our um, choices to do a live stream event to introduce our work to all the audience from the world so that's what we're doing right now and this year if you check into the if you check the link from the introduction you can see this is a series of paperworks designed and made by Si Wang and we also collaborate with this series of paperworks into my music video which is called for sure um and the music video link is also below here in the description so if you are interested you can also click that and have a look of it and but otherwise this hour we're going to talk straight away about the making of it and also the design and the concept behind this work and we are also opening for q a all the time the whole hour so if you have any question and yeah and any doubt or comments please don't hesitate and just let us know in the comment okay so first of all maybe let's introduce ourselves a little bit or more than a little bit <laughs> see would you like to say something about yourself so everyone can get to know you yeah uh hello everyone my name is yeah i'm sui sui wong and uh yeah now i'm um i'm a special designer and also a artist based in rotterdam the netherlands and yeah both of us me and yanting we come from taiwan i come from taipei but um actually i and yanting we uh we met in the south of, in, in Tainan, in the south of uh, Taiwan, where we study our university. Yeah. So, yeah, well, okay, I come from Taiwan. And uh, actually, before I. My background uh, is actually um, industrial design. So, more work uh, object and product, even some uh, craft, craftsmanship. Yeah. But later, I start to um, shift a bit my focus into a more uh, bigger scale. So, but actually, I first uh, work in Taipei. I work uh, in uh, a company called Aqua Design City East, and I work with yeah, I work with Aqua Jo, and it's really yeah, she's a very inspiring person for me. So it's uh, my first um, step to go into more uh, bigger scale about the city, about architecture and about the yeah the environment around us. And yeah, 
and later I、uh, came to Rotterdam to、um, study interior architecture in Peace Watt Institute in Netherlands. Yeah, and yeah, four years ago. So it's、uh, it's already the a while I stay in Rotterdam in Netherlands, and、uh, I started to develop my um. My let's say career or like my personal practice.、Um, there's the part is more like my personal practice more focus on the experience,、um, the experiments between human and relationship, a human、uh, space, and、um, yeah. So it's okay. So it's、uh, it's like.、Uh, Uh, during my study in Peace Watt Institute, I think、uh, the most、uh, important part for me is to, like our program really、um, give us the. They are quite open for us to define what is interior architecture, what is the meaning about space, what is meaning about the interior, and even the interiority. So that's also、um, the starting point. I start to develop my personal. Um, design language, and、uh, like how I'm, I develop a very specific intimacy, the sense of intimacy about space, about time, about human relationship between、uh, with the nature. Yeah. So and later after I graduate, I have some practice and internship program in some architecture studio, but also I have.、Um, Some personal project, like this project with Yanting, a collaboration project, and also some installation and artwork. I particip participate in exhibition, like last year,、uh, both last year and this year in Dutch Design Week. And also currently, there's just one、uh, exhibition is just、uh, opened last weekend at Tent Rotterdam, and it's um. F one of my、um, also paper art installation was exhibit in there, and it's invited by、um, Rini, Vian. So, yeah, if you are in Netherlands or you're you're in Rotterdam,、uh, if the corona situation is、uh, less intense, then you are very welcome to pass by the gallery. And yeah, that's very cool.、Mm -hmm. All right. So there's regarding what you mentioned about like you come from industrial design background and architecture background, but then related to what you're doing right now. Later we are we will come back to this、um, topic more because I think that is very very interesting. And yeah, so let me、um, introduce a little bit about myself. My name is Yan Ting Lo, and I'm also from Taiwan. Also, actually, now based in Rotterdam, so the same city,、uh, together with Si Yi. But I'm actually currently, right now, right now in Taipei, in Taiwan. So、um, that's why we're doing this、um, online chat. And I am now in Taiwan. So good evening to all the friends in Taiwan, and also good afternoon to all the friends in Europe. Um, I hope you enjoy. And like I mentioned earlier, if you have any question about us or our work, please,、um, you're more than welcome. Feel free to comment or ask any question. This hour, we're here for you for any kind of question. Okay, so my name is Yantin Lo, and I'm a musician. I'm a singer songwriter, and I also come from an industrial design background. I studied with Si Wan. That's how we met each other. But in、yeah. the end. I went to Amsterdam、um, six years ago for <laughs> the study of jazz, and after four years in Amsterdam, I'm still in the Netherlands. Continue my different kind of project、um, of music, mainly music related, and I have released a couple of albums. So if you are interested. You can go on all the streaming platform like Spotify and Apple Music and every other places that you like. You can search my name Yantin Lo, and then you'll be able to find so far three albums that you can hear. And 
The first album that I released last year is called Epifilm. In Epifilm, this is a very, I would say, a very personal and poetic kind of album that mentions a lot of things about the nature and the plants and dreams as well. But especially this song that's called For Sure. This is a song talking about For Sure, which means the intertidal zone between the highest tide and the lowest tide and about the natural phenomenon there and also talking about some um, moon-related kind of phenomenon. So this music, I really, um, I really need something visual to be able to enhance the story that I want to talk about, and that's why I approached C because this is I I have seen some of her work before, and she really liked to do something about the light and the shadows. And I also this in this song I have a lot of image. That is related to、um, the moon, and also, also in the song title,、uh, in the Chinese song title, there's a word called xian, which we will also come back later. And this is very funny. Coincidentally, this is a word that is also this is also the theme, the topic of the graduation thesis of、um, C, which is also now displayed in the exhibition Intent in Rotterdam. Um, so that's why I approach her and I ask her, like, "Hey, maybe we can do something together、um, from your idea, and see if we can do something、um, visually active from your work, but then、um, from something still becoming something performance-ish, like something performance art kind of thing." So that's how this everything start. And if you haven't watched the music video, don't worry. We're now going to watch the music video together, so maybe let's watch that. So enjoy full screen of the video. <laughs> If you were the moon, could you pull the tide all over me? If you were the earth, could you tuck me inside? I hear continents drift and spiral shelves. The nursery rhyme, but for sure, sung by hermit crabs. Kiss me goodnight, and I'll hold my breath. Load me upon with your crystal salt. Let gravity compete with buoyancy. Surrender, be in between. If you were the moon, could you pull the tide all over me? If you were the earth, could you tuck me inside? They say our eyes are created. For underwater, that explains so much why. 
Now I see very clear all those things that confused me. But now I can see there are distance and layers. Oh, how can we stand living in the If you were the moon, could you pull the tide all over me? If you were the earth, could you tuck me inside? If you were the moon, could you show? Yay! That was the music video of For Sure. I hope you all enjoy. And hello there. I already see some people joining us. Hello, everyone. And、um, for those who missed the first introduction, my name is Yan Tinglo, and we have here together with us Si Wang. And today we'll be talking about the making of this video called For Sure, and along with all these other、um, artwork that you see. In the video, which are designed and made by Si Yiwang. So, if you have, we're going to stream this、um, for an hour. So that's still、um, like forty-five minutes. And I will be asking Si some questions. So I will be like the host today, even though I actually know a lot of her work already. But I will be asking some questions.、Um, 
that I think are very, very interesting. But you are also more than welcome to ask questions in the comments anytime. And then I will be like including them for you to see what are the questions. So first of all, I really, really, um, you're back, right? Yeah. So first of all, oh, so it's gone a bit. Come back. <laughs> now probably I'm very huge. Okay, you're back. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> everyone, if there's any technical problem that we didn't notice, please let us know in the chat as well. So first of all, I really, really, really like, oh no, I don't see C again. You see? Okay. Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, now I see you, now I see you, now I see you. Cool. All right, so I really like that because since very early, um, since many years ago already, that you already start to make things with paper, which I notice. And yeah. I want to know why is your, why are you so fascinated about paper, this material or this texture that you already did a lot of origami and a lot of folding and this kind of related arts. Where does this come from? First of all, I want to say it's so funny you say this because only you uh, can ask could ask this question because you knew me for a long <laughs> while already. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So well, I think um, the main point about why I'm using paper is just because it's very tactile. It's very uh, about our sense of touching mm -hmm. and. Um, and so um also when you um yeah so i think it's very tactile it's about a sense of touching and actually i think maybe in um in europe it's not common to use paper in the interior nowadays maybe a bit more but i think like um in asia sometimes we have the paper as the material for the interior design or like for the partitions or for some um some uh, decoration in the interior space. So yeah. Yeah, and also start from the beginning. I already do some origami and paper folding. I think it's just a material very soft and subtle for me to experiment with it. And also I think the paper for me also gave uh, give me some a sense of intimacy mm -hmm. um, feeling. So I was thinking, how can I develop this kind of intimate sense from the material and integrate it into the space or the experience we can have in special design or yeah, installation, etc. Yeah. yeah, that's very cool because I find that very interesting um, because also in Rotterdam you studied um, spatial design and architecture. Yeah, but in architecture paper in comparison with other material is actually not like the strongest things to maintain also like every time when you're bringing preparing your artwork you have to be very very careful when you're like yes. take care of your <laughs> so how do you feel about that because it's not like the most mainstream uh, material to use especially when it's going when it's related to architecture no how do you feel about it mm -hmm. yeah I think it's really like um, paper also kind of showing how I, uh, I'm i coming from a, a bit different background because when you start, when you talk about the relationship between human and object, it's not necessary to talk about the construction part or the um, <clears throat> that kind of, um, yeah, it's not to talk about the that kind of feeling about architecture, yeah. But I think um, it actually gave uh, gave me a chance to slightly challenge myself or criticize on myself. Like if you work on a more alternative material for your design, for your special design, mm -hmm. then what is the reason and what is the the purpose? Yeah, so I think for me it's more like um, 
when I'm ah, for example, when I have the expression now intent, like people actually, the first moment they didn't realize it is、uh, made with paper. Yeah. Yeah. And、uh, later, yeah, and later, but because paper, it just you didn't expect it was paper, so then it actually、uh, attract you to look into it, get more closer to it. Even becomes like slow down your pace and being more careful because it's kind of a fragile and vulnerable item there. Of course, I'm quite free for people to um, um to even sometimes touch the work or discuss with me or interact with the material. Yeah, but I think I really I mean interesting in how this kind of material, which is not a common for. Uh, spatial design, but later when you introduce it into your work, then、uh, some new experience just pop up, and、um, yeah, I think it's more like <clears throat> drawing people into a more closer distance with the object or sculpture or installation,、mm-hmm. and then I think it's more to I wish to open up some subtle sense, like. When you feel you are so close to the paper, you see the texture of it,、mm-hmm. then you realize actually you can also be very、uh, slow down and feel intimate with a material around you. Yeah, that's very cool.、I、like that. <laughs> so I okay. Let me. I hope I don't repeat myself too much. But for an, anyone who's <laughs> watching right now, if you have any question, you can always ask in the comments, and then I will. Yeah, we will be answer those, and don't be afraid. We're conducting this stream mainly in English because this is part of the Dutch Design Week,、um, so we might have some international audience. So we decide to go with English. But if you want to ask any questions in Chinese Mandarin, that's also fine because we understand and we can talk about that in English. So don't worry about that. All right. So we've been talking, we've been showing the video, and I also ask. Our first question about a paper. Let's maybe go straight into this music video. Can you tell us how did we collaborate? How how is the making of this music video? Straight to the point. So, <laughs> how did we start from brainstorming, and how did you visualize、mm-hmm. my music and the lyrics? Yeah, that's also an interesting point. You mentioned the word、uh, "visualize," because、um, yeah, I think this. Oh, by the way, I wanted to ask maybe if someone they ask question in、uh, in Chinese. Yeah. You know, perhaps if necessary, we can also reply or talk about、oh, it、yes. in Chinese. It, yeah, I think it's also in case we have more、uh, audience prefer.、Okay. I should also yeah, just say that it's Chinese. <laughs> 就是如果观众们<笑>如果有问题，不用担心，你可以用中文问。就是在聊，就是在聊天室里面，他们直接回。然后我们主要会讲英文，因为这是毕竟是荷兰设计周的一部分，所以我们主要会用英文。但是如果你用中文问问题，也可以，我们就会就是中英都帮你回答。这样，<笑>好。Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you need translation、yeah. or if there's any part that you don't get it, also let us know. Feel free and <laughs> make yourself at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.、All、feel、right. free to、uh, have some common and even yeah. We also feel free to talk in Chinese. I would say. Yeah. 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 yeah because it's our language, and of course, our project is quite related to. Especially my part is quite related to the inspiration from Chinese character, so it's、uh, yeah, it's really <laughs> our language. Okay, I think the collaboration part.、Um, yeah, I think as you mentioned at the very beginning,、uh, it's very coincidentally、uh, we share the character Xian, and in either. My research or your、uh, music, yeah. So I think it's really about,、uh, of course, your let's say like、uh, the language you are using in your artwork is musical language, and my language is more like、uh, spatial and 
language with a paper craft. And、um, I think it's just I would really say the collaboration for me is very、uh, it's very fantastic because、um, it's like、uh, two artists.、Um, Uh, they are come come from different background or with different、uh, talents and ideas from different profession field professional professional field, but they contribute to the same thing, the same su-、uh, subject. So、um, yeah, I think、um, the collaboration part is、um, it's really about how I visualize. The melody of the string. Hmm. 关于弦乐的部分 Yeah, the strings. And especially yeah. the, yeah, the strings. And especially the part of the strings because this kind of very um. I think the melody of the strings, like when the violins or the cellos when they are like playing, it's quite.、Uh, for me, it's.、Uh, I can imagine they can be related to the. Light and shadow effect happening in the video, like some light will just、um, coming through the whole screen, or just、uh, disappear at the second next moment. So I think <clears throat>、uh, the shared quality between your music work and my、uh, spatial installation is about the shared chord is the reason because we want we both want to. Uh, talk about what's the reason in for us. What's the, our experience with the recent recentic experience? Then, yeah. Do you want to say something about? <laughs> You're gonna also ask me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think、um, so. I think it started very interesting because.、Um, What I have experienced so far, because I ha- am now mainly working in music, but I have been collaborating with、um, different kind of media, with video and also now with games. And I think it's very interesting how I see my music and other people see the music is very very different. Like for for example, I would focus on probably very different part.、Um, From how you first hear my music, right? Like because I remember at the beginning, I'm really trying to tell you like which part is which part, and then <laughs> I was even showing you the full score of like、yeah. like what do I mean exactly here and what is the string doing? And I think that's very interesting because I might be forcing some of my idea into your idea, but then you take it very well and then you、um, transform it into your understanding. Through the visual, yeah. So I really, yeah, I, I, think, I really like that.、Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you just mentioned the point. It's also really a nice experience where you show me the full score. Yeah, because、uh, Yan Ting is、uh, she's make yeah she's a musician and she also composed the music and yeah like she also doing the vocal and com-、uh, composer and yeah etc. Okay, um, but uh, what I want to say is the moment uh, the kind of the a couple of weeks we collaborate very close. Um, that's really amazing that when you collaborate with someone from different background, then she like you share the knowledge of music or compo composing、um, to me. So,、um, yeah. What I want to say, I think it's like a curiosity motivate myself to collaborate with another. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's also I, I. We have now actually a a question now. By the way, hello everyone. <laughs> I hope I don't. Like welcome everyone, and we have one question from Xu Zhang Zhu Zhang, maybe. I hope I'm saying it right. So saying, is there any related like relationship between Xian and the video creation? So maybe we should explain. Yeah. This word, 
线。Already, yeah. um, yeah. So maybe you can, yeah. Maybe we should show this work. <laughs> yeah, I think you are right. We should show how to, <laughs> um, yeah. But we we don't prepare. We didn't prepare the.、Uh, Because、okay. if I write it now.、Uh, I can write it now, but then it will be probably symmetric. <laughs> oh, that's true. Are we fine? Okay, let、yeah. me do that. I'm not very good at writing words in big. <laughs> but anyway, this is the word "xian." It looks not very decent. <laughs> this is the word, and maybe so you can explain more. But for those who doesn't know Chinese character. This is a word.、Um, if you don't look at this part, it means door. And then this word "xian" it has a moon inside, so it's like a moonlight that goes through the door. And this is what we've been playing with. Like we want to show how lights, and particularly moonlights, that go through this this gap between the door. Yeah, can you say something more about it? Because also in your work that is now exhibited in the、um, in tent in the gallery, tent,、yeah. that is also part of this, right? If you can show, I don't know if you have picture to show that, because that's also I also know that work before we started this music video development.、Mm -hmm. So I have I have seen that work, and I find this like whoa, this is very very、um, fitting my imagination. To this song, so I think、yeah. it's also good to show、um, your work. If you have a picture, I don't know. I have a picture, but it was、uh, in my phone, so I'm not sure if、um, if a picture showing in the phone is gonna work. Let's try. No, but also. Okay, now we are. <laughs> I can also actually put that in the link as well. So, and then so you can continue explain this word, and I will put that in the link. What about that? Ah, okay, yeah, yeah.、Um, yeah. Or I can show.、Um, I think.、Um, <clears throat> okay. No, I'm just trying to draw the characters. Ah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, because it's um. But I think also because this song, the inside the the lyrics content,、mm -hmm. it was talking about、um, someone walking in their intertidal zone and looking at this full moon and then seeing this moon showing its charm on the sea waves and on the beach. So then, I'm also looking for something related to the moon, but not so literal. And I think this is very,、um, very fitting my image. Kind of, I actually found your <laughs> Instagram photo, and I think that's very nice. <laughs> Do you mind I directly <laughs> share that in the chat? Okay, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. yeah. So here I put <laughs> in、sure. the chat.、Um, you can see that she wants Instagram, so go follow her. And this is. That's basically the post of her exhibition of this work right now, currently in Rotterdam. So if you're in Rotterdam, please don't hesitate to go check it out. It's very very cool. Yes. Yeah, and、um, should we still try to show through the screen, or if if you want, if it's convenient, Ruby Chen said. No, I'm not sure if it's. She、um... loved your interpretation of Xian. Yeah. Interpretation. <laughs> yeah, I think we can、yeah. talk about this、uh, all together. But perhaps I can show. Yeah, so that's. The... Is it clear for everyone? Yeah. yeah. But. Well, there's reflection. Yeah, the cameras are a bit weird. <laughs> okay. No. So please、uh, go to go through the link to check the photos on on my Instagram. You can follow me. But yeah.、Um, okay. I think、uh, both question can be answered together. Um, about why the where is the connection? Sorry, let me see the question also. So, um, 
could like find about it? the word Christian. <laughs> Because uh, also, the, I remember you in your description of the artwork. You also starting from explaining this word "xian," mm-hmm. and you want people to understand because this because mm-hmm. the, your work it looks like paper sculpture, but you can also see it from a Chinese character calligraphy, calligraphy kind of interpretation, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think、um, maybe I. Um, yeah, I give a brief、uh, introduction about how it start from that character, Chinese character, and later we go to yeah, if I, I will see if I、uh, answer the question properly. Yeah, because the character, as Yanting mentioned, it's about the moonlight shining through the crack of a double door. Yeah, so it's clear that it's about. Uh, the moonlight shows the crack in between, in the middle of the double door, and、uh, actually, xian. Okay, I'm、um, speak a bit mixed with、uh, Chinese. Xian nowadays we use some.、Um, ah,、uh, actually, xian is the previous、uh, version of jian. So, time, time, space, jian. It's actually now we use it as a space or room, but the previous version, like in the ancient time, people wrote "xian"、uh, as the word. Now we use, yeah. So it's like、um, if you check the if you check "shuo wen jie zi." Let's see, <laughs> <laughs> anyone knows what is "shuo wen jie zi"? Like if you check the. Uh, one of the、uh, essential dictionary dictionary、um, from China, you can find the the character Xian. It's actually what we are using now nowadays to describe space, room, and moment. Yeah, and yeah. I was check. I was wondering why、uh, we talk about space, room, and moment、uh, through.、Uh, Uh, through one、uh, characters, so when I check the、um, the dictionary, you realize it's actually about the moonlight and the door. So, okay, how to explain?、Um, so it's like the moonlight goes through the gap between the two leaf doors. Uh, it's actually about the interior space because the interior space is being activated by the moonlight. So, for example, you can walk in the door because now you have moonlight. But when later, when the moon's gone, like half an hour later, when the moon's gone, then the space is gone. So, like, in this that, case, yeah, it's also, yeah, it's also about time, like very temporal. And very about the specific moment you experience when you enjoy the moonlight, but later it's gone. So it's very、um, subtle and very dynamic scenario happens there. Yeah, did I mention this to you before, Yanting? Yeah, I I I have maybe. Yeah, you didn't you didn't really <clears throat>、um, mention this like this,、um, but、yeah. I have noticed that you really like. Um, to do this kind of, like the light actually activate、mm-hmm. the space. I like the word you use、yeah. for activating. So、mm-hmm. it's like this space doesn't. It's something still and sli- still in sleep kind of until、mm-hmm. there's lights coming to do something and trigger the action. I, re- I really like this concept. I just write down this for showing the generation. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> yeah because I I don't have time. So, so this word is the、uh, word for jian.、Uh, this we pronounce jian, and it's a door that has the sun inside. And this is the word that we use very very much to describe space, not just space, a、uh, space and time actually, because space we said kong jian and time we said shi jian. So it's like a It's an important word, <laughs> and and this is actually the old word. This is actually the old word of Jian, 
And what's funny is instead of having a sun inside the door, we have the moon. So it's not a sunlight that goes through the crack. It's actually the moonlight that goes through the crack. So if you know a little bit of Chinese character, it's easier to understand some of Si's work because she's playing a lot with words. And then also in her work, it's very, very calligraphy-like. Yeah. Actually, Feng Se BC also asked a question. I think it's related. What does Xian means nowadays? Okay, yeah, that's what we're saying. And does it, does it have the same meaning of space like in the past, like you said? Um, so, yeah. yeah. I couldn't see your question. Uh, oh, sorry, can you repeat it? Because I couldn't find the question that oh, you can replace. So, it. he's saying, like, what does Xian means nowadays? This, what does it mean nowadays? <laughs> because this is not the same meaning as this anymore. Yeah, I think nowadays we more use xian to go talk about the leisure time, I would say. Like yu xian, yu zai, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I think now it's, it's okay, compared with jian, I think jian is more a formal word. But mm -hmm. xian is more like we more talk about like some leisure times or some like the rest. Yeah. So it's a bit like, uh, yeah, so it's actually like the position of the moon and the sun because as the sun, you're more like the dominant one, but the moon is more like the the less dominant or the, yeah, not the formal and the powerful one. Yeah. And I think it's also very interesting because when we mentioned in the old time, they talk about the moonlight goes through the gap rather than the sunlight goes through the gap because during daytime i think you have your rooms are always available during the whole days but during the night if you don't have a light in your room then only the moment where you have the moonlight and you can use your room during the at the time yeah so, that's, yeah that's very true i think that's that's the point and uh, what i want to say because these two words, they actually, because we are talking about the moonlight goes through the uh, the crack on the double door, but I think it's also, of course, it's about the moonlight and also about the space, the time, but it's also related to the gap, the crack, the in-between space. And nowadays, we also use jian to talk about in-between. And that's why uh, we have this, uh, uh, the name of this exhibition is called Form and Reason in Between, because we want to use uh, the form, the shape of the paper craft, and also the reason of mu uh, Yan Ting's music to talk about the in, be the in between sense, um, kind of uh, derived in our works and uh, in the music videos. So if I think there was a question about um, <clears throat> is the, uh, the relationship between the Chinese, the Chinese character and the music video, right? Well, that was earlier asking about the relationship earlier. between Xian and the video. Yeah, so yeah, the making of, yeah, so I think it's really about because actually when I work with the, later we can show a few, the paper craft, uh, like Usually, okay, usually we draw on a paper, but this time I'm not drawing on a paper, but I cut through the paper. So I create a gap, I create a crack, I create a crack, I create a space in between the material, and then I let the light and shadow draw on the paper. So, yeah, that's kind of the whole idea how the series start to develop. I think the word in between is really related to every single thing that we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Because also, why do we play with the word, well, these words? It's because also because the song I was talking about is about the intertidal zone and also called For Sure, which is the title of this music. And in Chinese, we call the translation for intertidal zone, we call it Cao Jian Dai which means in between, which is this jian, 
which means in between the tides. So it's between the highest tide and the lowest tide. And、mm. so when I'm naming the the Chinese name for this song, I was discussing with another friends of ours, Boston, and then he was saying like because we're talking about it's something about walking along the intertidal zone, so we almost call it something something Cao Jian Dai or something something Cao Jian. But then he's like,、mm, instead of Cao Jian. Because you're walking in the nighttime, right? So you're not walking in the daytime. So maybe it's not the best to use the sun inside. And instead, we don't call it Cao Jian, we call it Cao Xian. So we use this word. So that's also how the relationship, the things we have, started to be in common. And so we're still in the in the song, and also in your own work, and also in the visualization of it. We're really playing in the. About、uh, we're all really playing with the in between,、um, and not just in between the music notes. For example, we're really focusing on the strings melody. 弦乐的句子是我们最主要在视觉化的东西 And then the other thing is、um, the in between is like what you said, the space that you cut on the paper to let the light and shadow performing. On the space, this is another part of the in between that we're playing with. So,、mm -hmm. yeah, I think maybe would you like to already share, show directly a bit of? <laughs> okay, maybe just just a second. So, for those who are now with us, I would like you to guess. <laughs> I would like you to guess how big you think the papers are. Yeah. In actual, because in the video, you know, we don't have anything to compare, and some people are asking before about how big is this exactly. <laughs> and since now we're all, we're already going to show you it.、Um, I just wonder how you imagine this would be. So, 你们觉得刚刚 MV 里面看到的那个纸张们。它的实际大小会多大呢？我们现在要公答案之前 ，Yeah， 嗯哼 ，Yeah，OK，OK。所以现在要暂时关掉相机一下下，再打开一次。Mm -hmm. 但大家可以先猜一下。OK <笑>。We are trying to improve the quality of the <laughs> but,、uh, yeah.、Mm -hmm. Okay, no one, no one has any clue. <laughs> so maybe let's. Well, do you want to see it? <laughs> maybe. Or maybe yeah. If you don't ask, yeah, you don't, don't ask respond. Then we don't show it <laughs> <laughs> because it remains. <laughs> A secret. Okay, someone said T Bird Sun said around ten centimeter, and Susan said eight times eight, and Ruby Chen said one meter. <laughs> one. Okay, that's my next、uh, next level. So <laughs> that is the coming up, <laughs> coming.、Soon. Yeah, one meter. <laughs> wow, everyone is super precise. I should have my ruler now. Then I can measure, like,、um, yeah. Yeah, actually, ten centimeter.、Um, it's not. Yeah, it's not too far from what we're saying. I think eight, eight, eight times eight. Eight times is,、um, eight. What is the unit? Closer. <laughs> I think it should be centimeter now. <laughs> you never know. Eight <laughs> meters. Eight centimeter. miles times eight、yeah. miles. <clears throat> All right. So.、Yeah. Maybe let's. Do you want to? Okay.、Uh, yeah,、oh. I think.、I... And also, there's another guess. Um. Okay. Thirty centimeter times thirty centimeter. 大家都还蛮会猜的呢 Yeah. And I think um, maybe I close the video, and when I turn it again, people see it, and later I will show how big it is. Because if I just <laughs>、okay. show it now, then people can. Very good at it. 节目效果，节目效果 ，Yeah， 好，来吧
，不要太准。呀，性感，我这个脸很大。啊<笑>、uh, ，OK。<笑> OK, I am ready to be back. OK, I have a live stream beginner, so where where is my camera? OK. Ah,、oh, no, I make some mistake. <laughs> I already, I already kind of see the size. No,、yeah, you see the size.、Cool. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. I couldn't see my screen actually. It's very dark. Good. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is one. Of, this is one of the paper character in the video, as you see earlier. All right. Yeah, I think since we probably can already see a little bit your finger, so probably yeah, it's、uh... some people can already guess the size. This is this size. Ta-da. <laughs> It's a pity. I will practice And... more next time. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah so but、it's... basically, this is how it looks like. And also in the video, we're just really using only foam light. This is how we perform that. Yeah, I think if we have a better, like a mobile light, then perhaps we can. <laughs> yeah, but the foam light is actually quite.、Uh... Easy to handle. Yeah. You want to? Yeah. I also want to say a bit. Ah,、oh, did you see that? I really like that little poke, little little peek. Yeah. So maybe let me describe a little bit how is the execution of this video. So basically, we shot we shot this video in my house in a garage, garage no, in a storage room. And in that room, we can have because there's no window, and then we can have like totally zero light there, and so we're just both of us there putting our paper characters, and then one of us holding the camera, another person perform with the light. So some of the, as you can see, some shot in the video are actually rather long shot, that we really have to manage both the zooms of the camera at the same time. With the movement of the light, and that is very very fun. It's almost like rehearsing with a certain choreography, and I think that's cool. Yeah, this is another one. This is very nice. I really like this one. Well, Chinese explaining it's a good. So we that time filmed the execution, ah, actually, is in our house in a small small storage room. 然后因为那个储藏室它就是没有窗户，所以我们就是完全可以是一个全黑的状态，一点光都没有。所以我们就是在那个小小储藏室之中放了这，哎、欸，我们总共几个纸片啊？七个吗？我们就是摆了这这几个纸片，八到十个，八到十个，有这么多，<笑>自己忘了。啊、然后应该是双数，双数，呀、yeah.。Anyway, we have a twin. So anyway, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we have a twin. So we just one person holding the camera, and another person, just like playing a modern movie. Just another person is holding the light. Then we have to use a very precise way to capture the light. Just a little bit of these very wonderful lights. I think filming when we were filming was fun. We filmed for many days. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want to say something more about the making of this video, no matter in Chinese or in English? Yeah, I can try to speak a bit more while keep playing with a few. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I think. Um. Well, when I'm controlling, I think now. Uh, you can see when I'm controlling the light, I need to be very focused on all the angles and、uh, perspective. Like, Direction, or if your if your light are stable or not. So although all the screen, yeah, when I'm talking, I couldn't perform very well with the light. That's what you, yeah. So what I want to say is,、um, although they are very small scales, <clears throat> but it's actually quite、um, because it's also very hands-on work. Like you control the light through your arms, your hands. 
so can, how stable your arms can be. And usually, sometimes we have like one shot for perhaps fifteen seconds, maybe. Yeah, like. <laughs> 有时候是一镜到底，对，所以 ，so um um yeah, I think it's really about、uh, like a process of doing the choreography with light and shadow and、uh, all the directions of your light and also the position of your paper art and、um, also how the performance on the paper responds or Related to the rhythm of Yan Ting's music, so it's very like we are doing the choreography, but also somehow we are already like performing together with the artwork, and then only the artwork were filming or record in the music video. Yeah. Okay. Should I speak Chinese? Yeah. So I think, uh, should be say. 可能因为这次合作算是，嗯，啊、嗯，我第一次跟音乐家合作，对，虽然我们认识很久，但我们就是有这次机会可以做就是影像的，呃，合作创作。然后我觉得，嗯，其实无论是旋律或者是光影指标，其实他们都在探讨，就是那个律动的感觉。那个韵律的感觉，那其实关于韵律跟舞动这件事，其实它就是舞蹈，就像现代舞一样。那等于是我们透过各自领域，或者至少我是透过像我们这个领域，用光影这个元素来谈舞蹈，来谈韵律这件事情。然后我觉得，嗯，好像音乐不是一个跟不是一个直接跟建筑有关的东西，但是。其实我觉得那个动态的状态是做空间设计，或是做建筑，或是在思考空间经验的时候，一个十分重要的东西。不应该所有东西都只讨论它静态的时候。对，这也是为什么我这么喜欢玩光玩影，就是因为我希望大家更去在意到光影在空间中的一个气氛。对 ，OK， 嗯 ，OK。For those who are watching with us, if you have a favorite one of all these papers, let us know which one is your favorite one. When you watch the middle, the film in these two small pieces, if you have a favorite one, do you have a favorite one? Do you have a favorite one? So basically, these、um, because I don't know if you remember in the video part, there is a part that we have these natural phenomenon. Like the lunar corona and buoyancy, all these keywords that I mentioned in the lyrics, we put them out. We show the definition, and then we sh-、uh, we use one of these paper character to represent those scientific nouns. So I don't know how you feel about that. We we find、um, the more we think about, it, the more we find the connection between. Those paper clips with those、um, like scientific terms and or natural phenomenon, and I don't know how do you feel about that, because for example, the one that you just show,、um, or maybe、um, or give me a, any random one, and then tell me which one is this one. <laughs> This one was for the. Wait, this one for buoyancy? No, buoyancy is the other one. I want to show the buoyancy one. I think that's a really nice one. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> that one also a bit difficult to perform. So. <laughs> <音>我们当初是就是这几个纸片的角色，我们分别让它代表歌词中有提到的一些自然现象，就是月亮的一些现象，或者是我歌词有提到一些物理现象。
，然后就是不知道大家记不记得，就是歌词中间有，就是曲子 MV 之中有一段，就是说，就是我们在对，其实这一张纸片代表的是哪一个角色这样。然后现在失意要拿的是代表福利，波扬西，代表福利的那一位。这个我觉得 ，I'm not sure if、uh, because I think the the shadow we create in the video it's something、mm. very it's very precise how we perform that and yeah, also yeah. needs about the darker room yeah. yeah so everything is just need to be set up very precisely and yeah yeah I like this one. Oh, it's playing on a video. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. Yeah. So I think we basically cover a lot of these. But、um, if you have any other question, let us know now. We can probably still open for some other questions, and we can still go on for ten minutes. I think. 大家如果有什么问题的话。现在最后十分钟，再开放几个问题，因为我们可能有没有漏掉一些资讯，有没有想问的，都可以问。And please, if you like C's work, go follow her on Instagram.、Um, and also, if you're interested in my music, go listen to my albums on Spotify and Apple Music and every places. There's three albums that you can listen now. Because there's one new album that released yesterday, so go the、listen. one just released. <laughs> ah, one released yesterday. Because last、yes. week there was also another one just released. No. No, no, no. It's the same. The、uh, one is the same one. It's the Thirteen Heron. Yeah, the one that、mm -hmm. also has the a song related to the moon. <laughs> there's a lot of moon related songs. Yeah, I also want to since there's、um, since we're still waiting a little bit. If there's more question, let me ask you another question. Are you have you ever thought of、um, applying this work of yours, paper, light, and shadow,、um, into some performance,、um, performing、yeah. art, or any live performance?、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, actually, like、uh, those we are just、uh, showing in front of screen, they are like very、uh, small scale. Like just your,、uh, you can have it in、yeah. your hand. And like the first one, the one in tent wrote down. That one is actually it's also it's actually very、uh, very narrow, linear, but the length of that work is、uh, three meters. Yeah. So actually, I'm、um, I'm actually uh, keep uh, experimenting with the scale of the paper sculpture. That's how you scale it up, but you don't lose the intimate、uh, quality、yeah. <clears throat> with it. Yeah. So I think、uh, yeah, I'm developing or making some draft plan about making some. Paper installation later, and but it's still ongoing, and I'm also still searching some、uh, space or some、uh, organization they might be interested in it. But I will definitely keep researching on the possibility, the possibility of、uh, realize it, <clears throat> like realizing the scale. Ah, but yeah, realizing the artwork. But would you like to apply that into performing art? Ah,、uh, perform. Yeah, I think because when actually I saw a video clip in Tent. I think they have some collaborative、uh, project with others. And actually, I saw a dance performer was dancing and wandering in the hall gallery. And there's a couple of、uh, minutes it was dancing around my installation. Ah,、yeah. so I think yeah. So it's actually, I think there's actually、uh, a chance to play the tension between my steel sculpture 
and yeah. dynamic performance of the dancer. And uh, then in between those, uh, yeah, in between the two, I think the light and shadow, yeah, light and shadow becomes uh, the element to connect the active performer and the kind of quiet installation together through the light and shadow effect. That's actually kind of ideal performance. One of idea of the performance in my mind, and yeah, we will see if、uh, later there are some project and chance come up to realize this idea. That's very cool. Okay, and I also、mm -hmm. want to ask you、um, some question for 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 everyone. So now you're continuing your career in. In Rotterdam, in the Netherlands, <laughs> how is coronavirus affecting your career or your life? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think. <laughs> is it serious、mm. there in the Netherlands, or does it affect you at all?、Um, I think, I think it really affects. And、um, perhaps the main point about、um, actually we can still going out, so it's not like real lockdown. But the point is like um, um, uh, when you meet each other, you are not that that free to interact or to have some closer、um, meet or like discussion with another. So I think. There's some weird feeling when you meet someone else and you want to have some, some discussion. So,、um, <clears throat> because actually most of my work, I really want to、um, have some dialogue with others.、Mm. Like the art, but of course, there it looks like just an art sculpture. But、um, when there's the chance, I usually like stay stay around my work and I talk about. Talk about it, or ask、uh, how people feel the art piece, and how they understand or think about the Chinese character through that、uh, sculpture. So for me, this kind of discussion and dialogue are quite important to being take to take place around my project. But nowadays, it becomes a bit difficult. Even the opening of tent, the new exhibition in tent is. Actually cancel. It's it's open, but the open event was cancel. Yeah, so that's quite a pity. But I think perhaps this kind of、uh, situation also we also learn from this. We realize how the like if everything only goes virtual or digital and without the real connection, the. Real connection, the、uh, connection in reality. Then there's something missing, and we 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 cannot ignore it. I would say, yeah. I have one last question for <coughs> you, and then if there... oh yeah, 哎，这位是失忆的奶奶吗？两位都是有专精，谢谢。So I have one last question for you. Before I might ask this in both English and Chinese because I think,、um, because I'm curious about that. And if there's no other question before we answer this last question, then we will finish this. So this last question is because, as you er mentioned earlier, in your work, actually you have these elements of Chinese character and also about paper origami kind of thing. It's actually very very Oriental. Um, influenced, but you went to、yeah. study spatial design、um, and architecture in the Netherlands. Yeah, Western. How? Yeah. yeah how do you feel?、Um, did you get something from your living in and studying in the Netherlands? And how does that affect you? And how do you how do you like the mixture? Do you actually get more inspiration, or what did you learn from your Background now that you lived there for four years. Yeah, you want to oh, 对我中文 briefly saying Chinese, yeah, yeah. So, 
呃，就是之前你。解释过你先前的作品，你很早就开始玩纸和折纸，呃，以及现在你现在作品也都有弦这个汉字的一些元素在，所以其实你的作品中是有很多东方的、呃、文化背景的影响。可是你却到了荷兰去读设计以及建筑和空间，那你觉得你在荷兰读书的这个期间内，你有从荷兰的？就是你的你的学习之中，或者是荷兰的设计环境中得到什么养分吗 ？I think I can because you just finished the Chinese、uh, question, so I answer as with Chinese, and later I sure I will answer in English as well. Yeah. 哦，对，所以其实嗯嗯。Um, um, 我觉得第一第一个点蛮像是，因为刚好前几天我才跟，嗯，我的同事朋友们聊到，就是为什么我会有像嗯，在 Tent Rotterdam 目前的那个作品作为我的毕业之作，因为很不像一般正规训练，嗯，训练建筑或空间设计会有的毕业作品。对，然后我其实一部分觉得。我觉得其实是来这边念，就是你一个东方的背景跟东方的想法带来西方，其实它有，它真的是不断的有，有冲击也有融合，有冲击有融合，这是一直在发生的事情。所以有时候其实也会有点痛苦，因为你一直在，你一直觉得那里有什么阻碍，就是你没有办法很，就大家不懂为什么你要来带一个不熟悉的语言过来，对，可是。我就会觉得，嗯，如果我们不断在讨论一个更加就是 inclusive， 好怎么说，就是比较有包容而且有更多文化去交流跟对话的社会的话，对，就是如果我们，我反而觉得这个角色，因为你是一个不同背景的，所以你更应该带一个。来自另外一个遥远的世界的文化里的话题进来这里，跟大家就是呃搅和，然后甚至是就是碰撞，甚至最后有你可能有批判的讨论，但你可能会因而引发一些新的见解。对，所以我会觉得一部分幸运是我在先前念书的学校，它其实是介于艺术跟设计之间，所以我们有蛮大一块时间是每个人如何发展自己的设计语言。就是你怎么去定位你自己具有的特质，跟建筑设计、跟室内建筑有关的关的关联是什么、嗯？对，所以我觉得这变成说是你的 personality、你的个人特质，跟你的建筑作品是融合在一起的。对，然后我会觉得这其实也形成了就是，嗯、呃，我的作品其实代表我的声音。我想要传达什么讯息给看作品的人？我是想要传达什么讯息给一个西方，嗯、呃呃、西方背景、西方脉络的观众？就是我是透过我的作品来说话，然后我会觉得这其实也会加深，就是我意识到的议题跟我的作品，他们怎么做一个很好的连接，然后去跟观众对话。我觉得这是一个。比较偏艺术创作的训练，可是我是蛮希望它也可以慢慢落实到，如果之后真的做，呃，做更务实的空间建筑的时候，其实，呃、一个有灵性、有灵魂的建筑或空间作品，它应该能够传达更多的东西给这个世界。我觉得好像讲太很棒抽象的，<笑>不会啊，嗯，对。Yeah. Then how we're gonna explain English? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think I briefly, briefly sum up because I'm not sure if I remember what I mentioned. <laughs> um, I think the main point is because my study is, um, is uh the school uh the program the master program actually ask the student to think through think about. What's their personal design language? 
what is your uh, design vocabulary let's say like um, so it's very there's a strong connection was built in between everything in between uh, the artwork the okay, there's a strong connection between the personality of the student and also the idea of the architecture project so in this case i think later like or like recently i keep developing my project and i want to i would like to say it's like the artwork they are part of my voice <clears throat> and they actually de deliver the message what i want to share in this society I want to communicate with uh, uh, people from the western context and i want to bring something different or new for people here and those actually come from my roots my background from the east and asia yeah so of course there's always some conflict yeah like uh, it's not easy like when you want to uh it's, yeah or we can say it's just like when you want to speak chinese in netherlands then you're like blocked yeah so it's not easy to communicate some concept from your own culture to <clears throat> um, the people in the west it's not easy it sometimes can be difficult and quite challenging but it also uh, you also can find some chance or a new new things can happen when you have this kind of dialogue between the different culture and between different backgrounds so yeah I think that's kind of how you position yourself with your own background in a Western society and it's challenging, but sometimes it's also fantastic. Yeah, mix. I think, yeah, I think it's very, very nice because no matter what challenge you face when you're trying to put your input from your own language or culture, I think a place like the Netherlands, for example, where it's very international and it's, a, it's full of people with mixture of background, they really probably appreciate your input, what you, whatever you bring to the Netherlands as well. So I think that's very, very appreciated. Yeah. By the way, I just can point out one thing. Uh, actually, um, there are a couple of uh, visitors uh, when they see my works, especially see the installation intent, they actually mention it's very universal. Mm. Yeah, so I think, yeah, so I think, um, of course, it's not about like you just bring your culture and put it here, say, okay, this is yeah, yeah. <laughs> my background and look at it. Yeah, it's not, yeah. it's, it's not gonna work. So, yeah, yeah. But it's more like how you translate the concept from your culture and then you transform them into another form or another mm -hmm. media and you present yeah. them. In order to have the the more dialogue, more dialogue and yeah, discussion in between different cultures. So I think that's also how you should, uh, how I'm always uh, criticized on myself or reminds myself you should be. Of course, you should bring something new here, but you should also be aware of the if it's. If everyone feel accessible to this work or if you people just feel it block or yeah yeah it's very cool yeah. <laughs> i like that i like that all art form are a new language that <clears throat> breaks through all the language barrier the same with music and the same with whatever art form it is performing art and also design and architecture i think if it's a new language that helps that is a universal language that you don't really need to learn, but you can feel the story behind. I think that's the most wonderful part of art. As the con as connection rather than barrier. Yeah, yeah, mm. exactly. Okay. All right, I think that's more or less it. Uh, we have one last very small question from the audience. This is from Suzanne. 
Will you two have next cooperation together again? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think we, if we find a chance, we'll definitely will grab another、yeah. chance to cooperate, right? Also, yeah, and I think we, like the process we collaborate is quite、uh, like fluent and inspiring. So yeah, we would love to. We would love. <laughs> so please support. If you like this beautiful, <laughs> please share it. Yeah, or watch it many times. <laughs> And yeah, because thank you all.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, please, if you want to say something. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so、yeah. yes,、um, please follow us on wherever you like on Facebook or Instagram. And. We might doing something more interesting in the future. If not, please keep an eye on all our artwork, music, and exhibition. And any support is very, very appreciated. Thank you all for being here with us. 谢谢大家今天陪伴我们这一个多小时的直播。然后如果大家 have one. <laughs> oh, you have one. Okay, please. <coughs> No,、uh, I just want to say,、uh, yeah, thank you for everyone here. And、uh, if you have any later, you have any question, or you just want to give comments, or even you just pop up any idea, want curious out, curious about something, you can always、uh, leave us message or contact us through all the medias you can find. <laughs> yeah, because I think、um, also when we talk about language, it's quite. It's about communication. So, anything is any question or comments are very welcome. Yay! Yeah. All right. So <coughs> let's let's wrap it up. 好，今天感谢大家陪伴我们这个多小时的直播，希望大家到处追踪我们。<笑>那就这样子喽。祝大家美好的一天，或者是大家晚安，看你们在世界的哪个角落。大家拜拜。